Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today I am checking out La Venia Mescal. Yes, if you follow the channel, you know last week I ended up reviewing La Venia Mescal. Yeah, <laughs> last week was the Esparin, this week is the Quisha, this was delicious, this I remember being absolutely amazing, and uh, next week, stay tuned, because I'm bringing you that really unassuming plastic liter jug coming in at 43%, stay tuned for that, I. Right? So the start of today is this cliche. Go watch this video from last week. Absolutely phenomenal. But today, La Venia cliche, right? So La Venia itself, very excited for this. I do remember this being delicious and uh, drinking it directly from the, well, not the still, from the barrels and jugs in the back. They weren't distilling at that moment. They were actually cooking. But I actually visited the distillery about... For about a month ago now, right? I was in Oaxaca for a friend's wedding, absolutely beautiful wedding, and I had a chance to visit the distillery La Venia. I connected with a family member of the distillery, Mescalotero, right, on Instagram, and we went to go check out the family operation, and when I tell you I had an amazing time, man, go to my reels, you'll see I do a whole tour of the actual distillery. They're using artisanal methods, crushing with the Tejona. I mean, they were cooking when I went, I got to put my hand on the actual mound and it was warm family was there like grandma grandpa i was drinking with the family friends were coming through it was actually the uh, dia de muertos week so friends family were coming with custom like hey i need you know a liter of this 10 liters of that 20 liters of that just bringing in jugs and when I tell you the operation to see that and be a part of that, how humbling first and foremost, but also how delicious because I was drinking a whole lot of mezcal coming directly out of the reserves up in the back and it's it's a, a memory I'm going to have forever. So yes, definitely excited to bring you La Venia, probably the only person outside of you know the family in California bringing you this, the only bottles here. And it is absolutely something you should seek out. And I do hope there is plans to bring this stateside sooner than later. And it is definitely a treat, treat, treat for sure. The Espadine is fantastic. Very Espadine forward. This is what mezcal should taste like. The Quisha itself. So if you are coming from the tequila world, you're not into mezcal. Quisha is just a different type of agave different i can speak today different type of agave maguey right whereas espadin same thing just a different plant okay so if you are here you probably know a little bit about mezcal but if you're not hey uh, there's a ton of videos i've done where i really break down what it means to be the different types of agaves different types of magueys right and this right here is one of those special types personally one of my favorites quiche Yes, Agave Karwinski from the Karwinski family. Quiche to me is absolutely fantastic. This bottle's coming in at 40%. La Venia, it's kind of like the like the permission, right? Like you're granted permission. You're granted like, yes, a blessing. Um, and you know, there's there's like romance behind it. I'm loving the brand on here. This is coming out of Santiago, Matatlan in Oaxaca, right? Shout out Celestino Serenas, the master mescalero, who I actually got to sit with and drink. And when I share and show you this bottle, you'll notice Celestino Serenas. Yes, this we bottled directly with the master mescalero, the owner from these jugs. Stay tuned for this next week, all right? That's all I'm saying. So <laughs> here, right here. Uh, you can see, even on Espedin, I showed you no lot, no bottle. Why? Because I physically bottled this bottle, right? I was right there. We poured it out directly into the bottle, label lawn, and there was just no lot, no bottle. This is some exclusive, one-of-a-kind thing. You'll notice the Espedin the same. And yeah, now this is absolutely amazing. And we're about to open this up. 
So let's open this up. Looking at the neck, it is uh, like that, Spidey. And you got the agave, right? You got the LV up there. And it's just a uh, heat shrink wrap. I remember being there physically heating it on. And uh, the espadine did not come off really nicely. Uh, you guys know I like to slice my neck labels. The espadine did not come off nicely. This one, oh, this one is, yeah. I think uh, I learned from my mistake in the other one. But the cork is, it's like this rubber cork. You'll see. Let your bottles pop. There we go. Got to keep that on. And uh, it's this rubber cork, really cool looking, but you know what? Let's pour this out. I appreciate you being here. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk, all right? So this Quisha, you, if you do follow the channel, you know Quisha is one of my favorite agaves, for sure, for sure, for sure. Love me a good, dirty, earthy Quisha, right? And this, I remember it being exactly that. So... So taking a look at the legs and tears, let me move this over. When I tell you something that really stands out to me about this brand, and I got to see it on the Master Mescalero's phone, the ripe agaves that they're using. Let me get that in. I'm trying to get that into, there we go, right there. You can see that coming here like a V. The agaves are so insanely ripe that they're using which means you're going to get legs and tears that look exactly like that. Those oils are sticking to that cup, the glass. You're not seeing that hasn't gone anywhere. And he showed me, I mean, the agaves that they're using, dark. When I say dark, like brown, beyond brown, purple. I said in an Espadine video, I'm going to see if I could get a photo of that sent over so I could post it on my IG just how deep dark the agaves they're using are so not only are they using artesanal methods right they got a tahona crushing copper distill and uh i mean it's fantastic fantastic small operation but they're cranking out amazing products this quiche let's take a sip all right well smell it first aroma cheers oh Man, this right here is special. I'm hoping and I'm looking forward to La Venia coming to the States where you can actually find this because when I tell you the quality on this, mm, oh my gosh, if if you drink Quiche, you know they're dirty, they're earthy. I love them. This right here, because of the the maturity in the agave that they're using and the master mescalero is choosing to use in production it's sweet it's sweet earth sweet dirt sweet clay oh that quiche is just so sweet so ripe not a lot you're getting a you're getting a bit more smoke on the quiche than the espadin the espadin was very not smoky this is at 40%, but it's a sweet smoke. And again, complimentary. It is just a little bit more than the Espadine from last week. Go watch that video. But this is just sweet dirt, sweet earth, quiche. You're getting some, you're getting some plant like asparagus, like a roasted asparagus, roasted, roasted Brussels sprouts for sure. It's green. It's definitely green in the aroma. A little bit of cucumber even. So think of like green veggies, but roasted and smoky with a sweetness, even like a balsamic glaze. Oh, this would go fantastic with, oh, some crunchy Brussels sprouts with a balsamic glaze on top. Yes, you can pair mezcals, tequilas for sure, all right? But the aroma on this, absolutely fantastic. Cheers, salud, Master Mezcalero, and uh, Mezcalatero as well. Sardinas, gracias, thank you so much, amigo. Let me try this, all right? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Ooh, the ending on that. After that swallow and the breathe out, the breath out. Oh, there was something so curious. It's, it was like a punch of mature agave right on the palate, all the way in the back of the tongue. Oh, that was incredible. Like like I said, earthy, dirt. Oh, I just want to go. Give me a second. 
Oh, there it is again. You can tell something is really well made, especially with mature agave, if it's, it lingers. The taste on this, the smokiness, but that sweet smoke with the maguey, the quiche, the dirt, it's lingering even as I'm talking. It's still on my palate. Let me take this last sip. Mm. 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 This quiche is absolutely delicious. La Venia, I can't wait till you guys come into the States. This right here is a gem. If you ever see it, go get it. And if you're ever in Oaxaca, reach out. Go visit the distillery. Absolutely. Uh, if you love quiches, this is really a high-quality quiche. Very dirty, very earthy, but sweet. And I, I don't know how else to explain that. If anybody comes over, please, I'll share it with you. <laughs> but it's vegetal. It's... It's those green veggies, but smoked and roasted with a sweetness because of the mature agave that they're using. Absolutely incredible quiche expression. Overall, the whole lineup so far, the quiche, the esparin. When I was there, I mean, I got to try uh, tapastate, tobala. Like we were just drinking everything on the table in the back. And like I said, I even have this plastic bottle coming in at 43 degrees, signed by the Master Mescalero, again, coming from Santiago Matatran. Stay tuned for that next week, all right? So <laughs> with that being said, I appreciate you being here. If you have not done so already, hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk, all right? Thank you for being here and take care, everybody.